Hi, this is Asin. Today I would like to share how to disable the close button or remove it directly from the user form. Okay, let's create a user form. We go to developer tab, look for Visual Basic. Let's insert a user form. Double click under the procedure, we change to Curly Close. So for the one that not related, we can delete. As we can see, we have two variables here, the cancel and the close mode. If we would like to deny the instruction given by user via the close button to unload or close a user form, we can make use of the close mode. So we set condition if close mode equal to false or we can put it zero means that it's instructed to close and we don't have the user form anymore okay so what we have to do here we have to cancel we have to say yes we can type false here and true here so we have and if start with if and with if so close while wire there close button then we should cancel okay let's try so for this user form we just run so this is the user form as we can see when we click on the close button okay the user form will still be here we can also change to false or through before that we can insert a command button to unload the user form so that if let's say we accidentally close this visual basic we are still able to close the user form so alert me this is for security purpose so back to user form we run okay we are not allowed to close then when we click on the command button, the user form is closed. Okay, now let's learn how to remove this title bar from this user form. So we have to first create a module. If let's say we would like to ensure that we will declare all the variables that are going to be used later, that we can use this option and place it. An option private module is to ensure that this will help us to permit references between the loaded projects okay then we have public constant gwl underscore style equal to negative 16 this is to set a new window style then we have public constant ws underscore caption this is to tell the excel that this window has a title bar so that we can remove separately so if let's say we want to set it as transparent we can use emphasis hc 0 we can adjust later whenever needed okay so next we have public okay we have to call the function we have to bear in mind that for this tutorial we will use the four functions that are not available in excel meaning to say we have to make use of the function that are available in library okay the system user 32 so function first is to help us to find the window so we have to remember the syntax is very important including the capital and the small letter so find window a if not what we want is couldn't be done so we call it from the library user 32 then pass by the value for the variable lp class name as string 
then pass by the variable lp window name as string okay remember to set order function as long okay so what's the purpose of having these two variable or these two function this is to help us to class give a class name created by the previous call and let's say this is set to be empty then the Excel will automatically find any window that match with the name stated over here so we don't have to worry every time we just set it to empty then we set the name so that Excel will go and find a window that we want okay then next roughly once we found the window we should now get it so get window long a the syntax is very important so user 32 again pass by variable we have hwnd this is to handle window as log then pass by a variable another and index this is to serve as a zero base offset to the value to be set as long as well then next remember to have as long for all the functions so we have public declare function again now this time it's to set window means that once we have found and then we get all the window ready then we replace a new window that we desired without the title bar so again call it user system so pass by the variable again same thing we have hwnt as long then pass by the variable and index as long as well so next will be pass by the variable okay this is to replace dw new long as long so remember everything every function must with as long this i must declare as long okay so once already done everything another function is to be declared here is the draw menu bar draw menu bar okay this may not be necessary if let's say we set the one that not included the menu bar so we can try we just write first just in case we need it okay so we have draw menu bar is to withdraw the menu bar for us so user 32 so pass by the variable we have hwnt and as long so remember as long for all the functions okay so all the functions that we need already declare okay now we should write a project to remove the title bar as usual give a name to any project that we want to could so remove title bar the name is not important we can give any name that we like as long as convenient so we have to declare to call the object so that this will be the user form that going to call and link to this function so we have call we set the window How are we going to set? We have to first 
find the window remember to set now now string when it's now then this will automatically go and find the user that match with the user form that match with the one that we want over here so this is the purpose then gwl underscore style to set a new style then we get the window okay get window long okay make sure the syntax is correct then what we have to do we just copy and we paste over here then after that remember to make sure to tell the excel that the new format of the user form should not with the caption means at the title bar okay before we include the draw menu bar function let's see what happened if let's say not included so we go back to the user form remember to include the code when the user form is activated so what's the name of the project that we created so we have remove title bar from the user form is that from me me is the user form over here okay let's see the result so we run as we can see we cannot see anything because we already set it to transparent okay we back to the visual basic okay stop first then to make sure that we are able to see at least something so we can for example add another zero so what happened so back to the user form so now we have the user form without the close button so the close button is successfully removed but the title part is still here okay never mind we can try again so back to the module we add another zero see what happened so we run again so as we can see the menu bar is now at the bottom so this is the reason we need to have the draw menu bar function so now we call draw menu bar okay what we want to do here we just take from the file window okay find what we do the user form that we want okay so without the the title bar okay so this is basically done so now see the result okay we run okay as we can see so no more menu bar no more title bar no more close button okay this is the user form that we want okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you